we get a lot of pregnant women who are positive or who have not been tested yet but they don't like the idea of getting antibiotics in labor so you know a lot of women nowadays are quite anti antibiotics rightly so but they don't want even that prophylactic dose so in that case if the mother is not tested or gbs positive but refuses antibiotics or it is too late to get antibiotics then what is i just want to know what is the current protocol for the babies if they are term babies i mean it's it's a difficult issue if they didn't have any previous affected child and obviously in uk for example the rcog guidelines they don't screen routinely here you have screened and you have a positive mother so that makes it a tricky issue but uh, obviously the current american academy guidelines are very conservative in terms of uh, blood tests or screening all that we require is a baby will stay in hospital for minimum 48 hours if not adequate antibiotic cover and you do vital signs a little more frequently which is safer so uh, from my point of view i mean personally you can take the refusal and at the same time explain to them that you're not missing out much because of this if the baby is symptomatic they would get treated anyway and if the baby is premature you approach it differently in the situation because you have a positive gbs but in a term baby without antibiotic cover also uh, your score doesn't go up unless there are other risk factors so monitoring the baby is all that is needed so you can tell them you would need to stay in the hospital for 48 hours if you don't get adequate prophylaxis and uh, agree to that that's all if they refuse that and they still want to go home early then tough luck but in this 48 hours are any tests or sepsis screen done for the baby if the baby is asymptomatic that's what i said previously before 2010 guidelines it was quite aggressive i mean even lumbar puncture was done fairly frequently but after 2010 they went to the way i would have preferred them to go and luckily i mean american academy has changed a lot i mean even the current jaundice guidelines is fairly favorable to the families and less intervention is encouraged so that's in my view the best way to go about it and